What's up everybody, welcome back to New Nine Golf. Today is the Cobra LTD XLS versus the Ping G425 LST. Boom! Not good? No. Okay, it's okay. That's why we do this. What's up everybody, welcome back to New Nine Golf and welcome back to our 2022 Driver Bracket Challenge. We're trying to find out what's the best driver of 2022. And since it's March Madness, we thought we'd do a bracket on all of these drivers. We've narrowed it down to eight drivers. If you haven't seen our prelims already, there's a link up here that shows why I chose each driver. In our last video, we put the Titleist TSI-4 head to head with the Homma driver. I was so surprised on the results. If you haven't seen those already, I'll put another link up here and you can watch those results. Today, and what we're focused on right now is the Cobra. LTD XLS versus the Ping G425 LST. We're putting these drivers head to head and we're gonna get a collection of data on both of them. We're gonna get about 10 really good drives of both. We're gonna delete some crappy drives and to get our final number, we take the total distance and subtract the average yardage offline. That's gonna give us a number to tell us what's the best driver between the Cobra and the Ping. For the shafts, we have the stock shaft options. There's a ton of you out there that are gonna buy a new driver and you're gonna stick with the shaft option that the manufacturer is giving you. Both of these shafts are stock, they're not fitted for me and it's what the brands are saying is best for my club head speed. What I'm gonna do first is hit the Cobra, then we'll hit the ping, then I'll give you the numbers at the end of the video to find out what driver is the best and who's moving on into the bracket. Without further ado, make sure you smash subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can see the future videos and see who wins the best driver of 2022. Let's go hit the Cobra. All right guys, to get all of our data, we are using a TrackMan. We're also using a Pro V1 RCT ball, which is specific for TrackMan. This TrackMan is like 40 Gs and is what the guys in the PGA Tour are using. If it's good enough for them, it's definitely good enough for me. The shaft in this Cobra, our stock option is the Hazardous Smoke RDX. It's a 6.5 flex, which is X flex, and it's also 60 grams. So that's what we're using. I have both driver heads dialed down one degree to eight degrees, and we're gonna find out which of these performs best. So sit back, relax, and watch your boy hit the golf ball. That yeah, feels as good as I remember. A little, little whooping draw. Boom! Yeah, that was certainly a miss hit, but like it feels so good. Yes. So good. Still 1.8 smash factor on a miss hit. Oh. Two feet offline? Is that good? I don't know. Okay, pretty good. I like -y, the Cobra. Okay, thoughts on the Cobra ever since I reviewed this driver, it's been one of my favorite drivers. So I'm hoping it does well, because I've told everyone my results I got with it last time, but I haven't hit the ping. So I'm interested to see how this uh, performs to the ping. Overall though, yeah, I, I've been getting great numbers this year with the Cobra LTDX LS. In our last video, when I was hitting the Titleist versus the Hanma, the Hanma sounded so bad. I still got some pretty good results with the Hanma. You'll have to watch that video if you haven't already but this Cobra feels so good up and down the face and it sounds awesome. So it's definitely one of my favorite drivers of 2022, but we're gonna let the data back it up. Now we gotta hit the Ping G425, the LST, same head settings as the Cobra and this shaft that they give us is a Tour, Tour, just says Ping Tour. Is there Ping shaft? E6. Oh, CX. It's hard to read. It's like one of those uh, puzzles in the newspaper, you know, where you gotta pull it out. I don't know what type of shaft this is. I'll freaking Google it and I'll tell you guys. Woo! Right on the line. Ooh, that was high spin. Uh-oh, ping, ping stock shaft. Super spinny. So this is funny. From what I understand, Ping is supposed to be the most proud of their stock shaft options, is what I was told. I'm a professional fitter. 
first two hits, not anywhere close to the distance of the Cobra, but had really good dispersion. And dispersion is half the battle, so let's keep hitting it. <laughs> they feel good, sounds good, feels good, but then when I look for the numbers after the anticipation of the carry, I'm like, oh, that's it. Pretty good ball speed. Still 171. Clubhead speed's about the same. I think I was getting up to 120 with the Cobra. some straight ones. Okay, overall impressions before I look at the data. Felt good, looks good, but looking at my instant results, like my carry, total distance, spin, all that stuff, I feel like the Cobra well outperformed the ping. With that said, I had some that were like right on the line, like two feet off line, which is like that last one, 298 carry, two feet off line, that's pretty good. But doing this head-to-head -head comparison, we gotta find out which driver's better because only one of these are moving on. We're gonna crunch some numbers and I'll let you know how we're looking. Ping. Ping. Uh. Total. Is that what you want? No, read me off the side. Oh. Okay, what's total? 319.1. Okay, it's okay. That's why we do this. No. Cobra. Yeah. Cool. 340.2. <laughs> okay guys, we got the final data. So I'm going to reveal first the Cobra since we hit the Cobra first. Remember it's the LTD X uh, LS model. They're low spin. V Cobra came in with a total, remember that it's the total distance minus the average yards offline. Gives us a total number of 311.37. That's the Cobra. The ping, its competitor, wasn't even close. Not like our first competition. The ping comes in at 296.43, being a difference of like 15 yards. 15 point, 15 point one yards, we'll call it, difference in the two. So, stand behind in the loser category is the Ping G425, which is funny because I've seen a lot of people say that this was the best driver of 2022. Now, keep in mind, I don't have the ability to hit 10,000 drives with a robot arm and a man, woman, and child. I'm just one guy, okay? But realistic, you go to the golf store, you hit 10 of each driver, you're gonna pick a driver, you don't got time for 10,000 hits. The winner is the Cobra LTDX LS it's moving on in our bracket. If you haven't already, smash subscribe and turn on post notifications. That's when you can see our next video, which is gonna be, what's our next video gonna be? It's gonna be either the Srixon and the Callaway or the TaylorMade and the Mizuno. Regardless, we're gonna put them head to head, find out which is the best driver of 22. When we get all the way to the end, put two drivers head to head to tell you guys in my testing, what's the best driver of 2022? Thanks again for all of your guys' support. We really appreciate it. And we'll check in with you next time.